This is none of your business. Well, I would say pick on someone your own size, but I don't think there is. You know, I always did find it rather ironic that your name was Kathleen. You won't make money with a sad face, Beck. Parents don't care if you're tired. Look alive, look professional, but look friendly too. And one day you'll get big enough to teach more. Oh. You must be Beck. Uh, yeah. Yes. DBB. That's me. Stay right there! What the fuck are you doing? No one fucking move! You're gonna unholster your gun and put it on the table, slowly. Oh, get away from me! Christy, I didn't know! Oh, bullshit, you didn't know! You knew something was up as soon as he showed up! Who is he? What happened? She saw my gun. I didn't know how she would take it. You better have one hell of an excuse for being in possession of a firearm and threatening an officer. Or what? Who is he? I can't say! Why not? You know why I can't tell you! Bryce! Who is he? I'm his brother. Is that true? Look, he's family. I couldn't just turn you my back. There's a point where you have to cut people off, Bryce. Why would I give her something? She's just a kid. I don't know. You leave stuff lying around all the time. She could have stolen something. No, it's not that. She's just not a normal kid. Well, I've had enough of this behaviour. I'm going to make her talk. Well, uh, thank you for a very lovely evening, Hannah. Yeah, it was nice. We should definitely do this again sometime. Sure. Anyway, it's getting a bit late and I have work early in the oh, morning. Oh, sure. So. <laughs> um, is something wrong? Look, I didn't want to do this right now, but... Harris, I think we need to talk. 